Okay, Coach, why don't you introduce yourself? Coach Jarvis Gunner with the University of Arkansas Five Bell Community Basketball Team. And uh, give us a little uh, of your background information. I'm from uh, Columbus, Mississippi. Graduate, graduate of UAPB 2008. Played basketball here over here for five years. Played center, power four. Uh, helped lead the team to a 2006 championship game. We was off the Southern. You led them to the 2006 championship game. Yes, 2006. Tell us about your time playing for the UAPB Golden Lions basketball team. It was a great experience. First year was kind of a, a rebuilding year for the team. Like transition of a new coach and a new assistant coach. And uh, Coach Joe Jarvis, the head coach right now, recruited me to come here out of high school. And uh, we kind of helped turn the program around from a losing record to uh, competing for the tournament and championship. And what is your current position here at the school? This is my third year. I'm an assistant coach for the men's basketball team. I work with the post players. I, we, we all do a little bit of everything, recruiting, uh, scouting, and things like that, trying to get the team to the next level. And tell us something about uh, teaching or coaching uh, post positioning. Uh, yeah, post positioning, it, it starts uh, you know, the inside of the block, 15-foot uh, range jumpers, basically teaching the fundamentals and uh, uh, post moves, helping the post player. Being able to score offensively, playing to their strengths, and uh, basically being that tough guy in the middle on defense as well, and as far as rebounding and blocking shots. Okay, Coach, tell us something about uh, collegiate competition on the uh, Division One A uh, level in uh, UAPB Golden Lions. Uh, the competition wise, is, uh, I like the level that it's reaching. It's, it's came a long way from when I was here, my first year. I think the level is always competitive, especially in conference. It's just, you know, you're trying to, trying to compete to be that number one team in the conference and a lot of bragging rights and representing the school as well. And I think uh, giving that exposure, playing against like bigger Division One schools, and I think it, it helps the kids and gives them that, that good opportunity to get exposure like from the professional level, the scouts and things like that. Coach Jarvis, what was your highlight of your college uh, playing career? I think the highlight was, like I said, uh, help turn it program around, help, turn, help making the team into a winning team as far as starting from the bottom and working and progressing and being known as one of the teams that you would you would hate to play in conference. Give us uh, an anecdote about your time playing professionally. Uh, yeah, when I finished here in 2008, I, I got a chance to play in the NBA D League for a few years. Actually, I uh, went to a trial and things worked out from there. Worked my way up from getting little playing time to more playing time. And uh, basically, I've always been a nature of good hard work from my high school coach and several uh, coaches I played for through the years. And always taught me how competitive I got to be on and off the court, and also maintain good character on and off the court. Because that's nowadays that's what you judge by what you do as far as being doing things off the court and on the court. So not only does it matter what you're doing on court, but maintaining good character. Right. And how do you instill that into the players now in the? Uh, Hip hop, uh, showbiz, paparazzi culture, who may be uh, a little clouded on some of the uh, extracurricular activities more so than the scholastic activity. Right. Uh, as far as that, uh, <laughs> just try to always be respectful, respectful of our elders and things like that. Always being mannerable, you know, open the door for you know, be around older people. One that you want to always show that respect, and you can always learn from older people as well. So being respectful, being kind, always pays off in the long run. You never want to show like that attitude, even if you're mad about the game or anything. Some things shouldn't matter like in, the, in your free time, like on a daily basis. And how do you see uh, the team going uh, in the future here in the 2016 season? I like where we're headed. Uh, we, we, we're still progressing. We're working hard. And uh, we just got to keep maintaining and producing. Is it true you once dunked on LeBron James? <laughs> Played on his team, played against his team, had to guard him a couple times, but nah, I haven't got to What's it like guarding LeBron James? I mean, it, 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 it's, it's very competitive. I mean, he, he's a freak of nature, so you try to play him as hard as you can and not try to make it easy on him. But you definitely can't be intimidated because he'll notice and, you know, he'll keep attacking that. So it's always, as a standpoint, always being competitive. Play him as any other guy. And you translate that to the players now at UAPB? Yeah, I don't think you should ever be like scared of anyone you're competing against. I mean, big name players, they're gonna, they, they, I feel like they should always have to 
prove who their point is. Like that's it, it's, it's an all American or whatever. He's always going like that. He got he got to prove that point. He got to show you that he's that good. You can't just be a friend. Have him say it like that. You know, have him, let him have his way with you. Thank you for your time today, Coach. Uh, thank you.